Hi, okay, so I just wanna share something that I'm going through this morning for any moms out there, dads, um, grandparents, um, teachers, um, any of us that are having to look at children and not necessarily know what to do or how to do this all with them. Um, as far as holding them up emotionally, getting them through schoolwork, um, missing their friends, not fully understanding why and how all of this is happening, all of it. Um, so I woke up this morning and my kids were very frustrated at everything, um, which is not like them. And then they started using the word sad. Um, and then my daughter had to do like a little, you know, Zoom class and she just couldn't find words. Didn't want to express herself, was feeling just down. And I found myself going around the corner um, and just falling to pieces, just crying like really hard because I just don't, I don't know how to do this. You know, I, I have... The skills that I have in life and one of them is not to be a homeschool teacher and the other is not to know how to emotionally help my children right now I'm doing my best and that's what I wanted to say to people is like I, I keep reading all these things where parents feel really bad that they're not doing enough or that they're not doing it right or um, feel like they should have the answers like I felt this morning what answers like I've never been through anything like this in my lifetime. Why would I assume that I have the answers? I don't have the answers for myself, let alone for my six and a half year old or almost five year old son. Like why would I have those answers? And so I had to, I had to cry. And then I had to take a deep breath and I had to do what I do know how to do. And that is love love them deeply, be silly and make them laugh. Um, tell her to stop doing school for a few minutes and have a dance party, get them on their scooters and take them outside and know that we would finish the schoolwork later, um, that we will get to all that's required of us, but that what my children really needed to learn this morning is that it is okay to fall apart, to talk about why mommy was crying, to let them cry, which they did, and to just say, I don't have all the answers. I'm doing the best that I can. You should do the best that you, but that it will ultimately be okay. We will all get through this. We will put this behind us at some point, and we will have learned a great skill, which is compassion and grace for ourselves, deeper love for each other, patience and kindness, not only for the world around us, but just for ourselves. And that sometimes it's okay to fall apart. And most importantly, is it okay sometimes if you have to, to take care of yourself and stop doing what you think you're supposed to do and just do what you need to do and fill that space with love and fun and silliness. So after all our conversation was over, we had our dance party, we did some scootering, we got things, we went back, we finished our school. We're almost done with the school now. And then like an angel, which she has been for me in my life and she probably doesn't even know this, Acklin and Doyle posted something this morning. Let me just tell you this. I'm obsessed with her books. I think that she is one of the most beautiful, profound, lovely people inside and out that I have been just following and, and, and really has like profoundly changed my life in moments when I really needed her to just say something. And she always does. And this morning, guess what she did? She posted something for my children. She read a story. She was wearing sparkles and she told them that we can do hard things. She even made a coloring page, which is how my kids and I will be spending our afternoon. We are going to color the We Can Do Hard Things color page from Glennon Doyle's morning meeting. 
And just like that, my daughter, not even five minutes later, finished the story. She said, oh, mommy, I wish that I could take her class someday. <laughs> not knowing that, you know, she's this amazing, profound woman who like speaks to the world. Um, but my daughter said to me, she was like, mommy, we can do hard things. And it was beautiful. It really was. And we can do hard things. She's right. My daughter, Glennon, they're right. And we are doing hard things. And we don't have the answers. And so I just wanted to say to all of my parents out there, we're doing what we need to do. And it is enough. All that we are in this time for our children, we are enough. So I am sending love to all of you. And I am asking you to give yourself some love and compassion today and a pat on the back. And what we're doing is enough. As long as we wake up in the morning and we start with love and we start with empathy and compassion for all that we're going through and then imagine that in a child's life. As long as we're just giving them all we've got, it's enough. We can't do any more. So, sorry for the rant, but it was a big morning over here and I just wanted to share and send some love. Glennon Doyle, thank you. I really needed you this morning and to no surprise, you were so there. <sighs> Thank you. We're ready for more children's stories whenever you have the time. <laughs> okay.